Comments, Comments from, from the, the haters. haters. Instant Remix says, you look like you need veggies in your diet. A lot of veggies. <laughs> why Why do you say that? Uh, instant, all right, here, this is a good one. Zimmy McFlimmy says, if you can't pronounce the topic correctly, then you shouldn't pretend to be an authority on it. What do you think he's talking about? The vegans thing? All right. I don't normally comment on comments from the You're haters, but what I got to say this, how, how do you spell, how do you pronounce V-E-G-E-T-A-R-I-A-N? Do you pronounce that vegetarians? <laughs> vegetarians? What is it? V yeah. Vegetarians? No. How do you pronounce the category of what a carrot is? It's a vegetable. Therefore, you people are vegans. Get used to the idea. All right. Walking unintentionally over an ant is the moral equivalent of needlessly stabbing a cow in the throat. Moral philosophy be damned. More soy. Uh, that's what, that's what that person More is. soy. Yeah. Uh, the soy poisoned already, I believe. <laughs> Our anti... The way out is the way through. Just keep going. Are all anti vegans this stupid? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> of course we are. We're stupid. All right. Sanities for the week says, hard to beat off to this video, but I managed it was the hard nipples. You gotta get to that one. Hard, hard that nipples one is it. coming up next. All right. So I can eat meat, pay for billions of animals to be tortured, because that's so cost effective, you know. Increasing my chance of dying sooner and have a body like you. Or I could be a vegan, love and care for animals, live longer and be ripped and muscular looking. Hmm. That's a tough one. I like it that Peggy is going to love animals. What does she mean by that? Well, yeah. And ripped and muscular, she'll be irresistible. To the oh, she'll be ir irresistible to the horse. <laughs> I think the donkey, the large dog. You're gonna, you're gonna cut that one out. You fucking pussy. <laughs> you fucking pussy. <laughs> you know that's kind of bigoted, actually. What, it is. What are you implying? That, what are you implying? That women should animals are not dogs. What? She might identify. Are, the you, a Nazi? Nazi? are somehow, you a Nazi? That's my question. Is, is bestiality somehow wrong? I don't. I, how? Who are you to judge that? That seems awfully judgmental. Sorry. Is judgmental as bad as racist? Well, those are pretty much synonymous. You know, racist can they're. mean many things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, in fact. Uh, I would like to apologize to myself, my family, and all my teachers for clicking a video of a guy dressed like a Walmart employee <laughs> and guys who look like they squat donuts <laughs> expecting to learn anything. I truly apologize to you all for making me <laughs> read this. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, oh shit that is good and my favorite one of all the perennial why are mark's nipples hard is he some kind of pervert <laughs> <laughs> oh shit from the global headquarters of the asgard company in beautiful downtown wichita falls texas from the finest mind in the modern fitness industry, the one true voice of the strength and conditioning profession, the most important podcast on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, Starting Strength Radio. Welcome back to Starting Strength Radio. We're here with our friend Mike Matthews. Michael, thank you so much for flying Let's have like out a, here to a talk long, to awkward us today. handshake. Yes, in fact, <laughs> but it's so much fun. <laughs> Your hands so are big. Much. My hands are not big. My hands are sweaty, too, because yeah. it's 108 today or something like that. 
Well, Mike's here as our guest. We're going to talk to Mike about all kinds of stuff today. But first, I wanted to talk, uh, let, let him tell everybody about his new book. He, it's not really a new book. Yeah, it's a new it's edition. A, it's a new edition of the book. So let's let's have it. Um, yeah, so I, I in 2012, maybe I'll uh, just tell it as a little bit of a story. So yeah. it's not just, so it's interesting. So I'm mean, saying buy my book, which so is they, on sale for 99 so cents right now, Kindle. Stop. You know. uh, yeah, yeah. No, but so in 2012, I published uh, a book called Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, obviously for men. Um, and it was kind of just the book I wish someone would have given me back right. when I was like 17, right? The basics of, yeah, like, I know all of diet, that. nutrition, exercise, right? How to get abs, stuff like that. Right. And, uh, and abs are important. They are to some people. Yep. To us narcissists out there, they're important. Now, Mike, that's so stupid. You're the least narcissistic person in the. With a guy for a guy with to, abs, you are you you. <laughs> but you I have don't to know anything about narcissism. <laughs> we do. I probably we all know about narcissism, and you ain't him. All right. <laughs> so. That's part of my. Come on, man. I'm, the, I'm a fitness. I'm, I'm a fitness guy. Uh, and anyways, so that book, that book became popular and started selling quite well. And that was actually my, my, my entrance into, into the fitness space was via that right. book. Um, and then along the way, I wrote a second edition based on just feedback I was getting from people, my own list right. of things as I continue it's to done. you learn shit, you yeah. put it in another yeah, edition and be sure. like, Oh, that, that would be good to change, add, remove, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Um, and, and then, so four years ago, the second edition had come out. So it'd been four years since I had updated it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the list just got long enough to where it made sense to do it again. Right. And so funny. So I, I, I what I thought was going to be, I don't know how this was for you, but what I thought was going to be more an editorial thing where I was going to get into the second edition and read through it again change things go through my little checklist um well it wasn't actually that little maybe like 25 items that i've just things i wanted to right, do right but as i started to read it's your it, notes list we yeah. all have that yeah right. exactly but as i started to read through the second edition i just hated it i just didn't yeah. like oh. my voice i didn't like how i was explaining things i didn't like how the book right. was organized even though sure it was popular and i had a lot of good reviews and it's not that it was a bad book but this sounds real familiar yeah so, but that's a good sign, right? It means right. that, uh, I mean, I would say that it would be concerning professionally if that was not the case. If, if you could look at something right. you wrote four years ago and still be like, yeah, that's really fucking good. Man, that's, I hadn't learned a damn thing. Yeah, that's since what that then. means, right? <laughs> or, or it means that- I haven't that, seen anything new. Yeah, or I haven't right. improved at all as right. a writer or right. you know, communicator. Right. Um, so, so basically, as I was getting into it, I just was like, I need to, I need to kind of, not the information I like, um, the core information, but I need to reorganize this and rewrite it from scratch. And so that's what I did. Oh God, I can't even open the first edition. Yeah. Starting strength. Can't read it. Can't yeah. stand it. Don't yeah. want to look at it. Hate that I've got it on my shelf. Yep. It's an embarrassing That mess. has your name on it. I understand. There's my name on it. I feel the and, same you know, way about the first you, editions. Oh, you just can't. They're just, they're unreadable at yeah. this point because they're, they're just, look, boys and girls, if you aren't learning things, just go away. You're not. <laughs> you're not helping us out here. If you're not learning anything, if you haven't changed an opinion over the past ten years that you once held as an irrefutable, existential, all revolving truth, then you're not thinking very hard. And you know this is just what happens. To you know, you you learn, you improve, and you you'd better if you intend to remain. Professionally respected, yeah. relevant. You, you relevant. You had better say I was wrong, yeah. and this is right now. Yeah. And if you won't do that, there have been a lot of people in this business mm. that won't do this. Mm. And a lot of people don't. They just don't like to do it at all. Personally, no. in their oh, no. lives, just, they, you know, you, 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 yeah. it seems like one of their over their their primary objectives is to assert how right they are at all Nar times. Narcissism. Yeah. There it is, isn't it? It's a narcissism. Yeah. It's just if you can't be wrong, or just a emotion. If every yeah. bad thing that ever happens is somebody else's fault, if you are not, if you are not capable of admitting that you did something wrong, you're you're just not going to be useful to many people. That's you true. know, people learn. Yep. Everybody fucks things up. And and people, you know? it's not like people. I mean, I haven't experienced this where people they don't they don't give me a hard time. Where sometimes no. people email and ask about things that have changed, and I'll say like that's what I thought back then. Right. And I don't think that my reasoning was like wildly off base, but it's just it's what just, you knew at the time, yeah, and, and, it's, and it happens to be wrong. Exactly. Now. I've done that dozens and dozens of times, and 
people appreciate that. Yeah. I know from interacting with people that they appreciate a guy who will say, yeah, that was, that was not right. Yeah. I've learned better. And here's the new shit. Yep. And that's what new additions are for. Yep. You know? Yep. And so long as you get the most important things mostly right most of the time, then you're you're going to be doing well by people. Obviously, there are certain yes. things that you would not want to get wrong. Because right. they, you know, they could, in the case of exercising. Could be dangerous. Or, yeah, you exactly. Know. But, right. uh, you know, these a lot of the things, though, that when you're getting into the more extraneous stuff, the fringe stuff that is shifting. I mean, there's been... Uh, in the last four years, quite a bit of, I, I think of with, uh, on the exercise side of things, a bit of research that um, now, because there was a time a few years ago when frequency was like the thing, right? Mm-hmm. And, and people were saying that if you're not training every major muscle group at least three times a week, then you're an <laughs> idiot and you're probably not going to make any gains. Right. And so, you know, that was once a strong opinion. I never had that opinion. Um, but just a few years ago, there are people that, that have credentials, they have acronyms after their name and stuff. Oh, yeah. and, well, who doesn't have and, those? And, and, but they were saying those things, and you know, there's, there's no question now that that's wrong, for example. Well, it, and one of the things I think we've accomplished is that we've demonstrated conclusively that a lot of that depends on how long you've been training and how you've been training previously. Because sure. I squat once a week. Mm. But I wouldn't put a novice on a, you know, I'm I'm this uh, I'm post advanced. I'm yeah. staving off death. <laughs> training is what I'm doing, yeah. and and you know, sixty three year old guy like me that's just, just on the downhill slide, you know, that's uh, just about ready to be set out for the polar bears to eat his ass. Uh, I'm gonna in squat, Texas, uh, yeah, well, well, you know. Well, they'll probably move me to Canada, <laughs> move me to Saskatchewan. A camp, <laughs> a concentration camp, a, a polar bear camp. Yes. And uh, but I'm I'm not going to train the way a novice does. So you know all that frequency, all that stuff, has always been dependent on on how long you've been training and what your previous training history has done to your physiology. Right. And I think also what you're trying to get out of your training too. Right? Yes. Yes. If if you're Staving off death. I'm not a competitor anymore. I don't care how much I squat. Yeah. I've got a squat, yeah. but I don't care about PR squats right. because I'm not a competitor anymore. Right. But somebody that's young, new, trying to get strong, you've got to, you've got to squat more than I do. And this is kind of a duh thing, isn't it? Right. You know, and people that people that, for example, starting strength is a gallon of milk a day. Right. Every time. Every time. For, for everybody. everybody. For you, for me, for Bree. Gallon of milk a day. I wouldn't do it. <coughs> I would be a heretic. Uh I wouldn't do it I, either. I'd blaspheme. And uh just because that's my stomach. You know, it's explode. just I, it, I would people not, are I would not do well. People are people are well and and you know the the hilarious thing about this is, is that that people are so quick to stop thinking. You know, they hear it on the internet and they believe it, and uh, that's one of the things the internet has done for us. It has made us gullible. It has made us susceptible to just reading the headline of the article and the not tweet. Reading the tweet, Man. reading the 123 words or whatever the fuck it is. And uh, and believing that what this person said about Mike Matthews is what Mike Matthews believes. Because they just saw it on the internet. And it's, you know, people aren't any more uh, circumspect than that anymore. And uh, especially in our industry, uh, there are... There are a whole bunch of people in this business that really like need to be selling cars. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, or just hawking stuff, other things on the internet. Right. Just internet marketers. Yes. Leave us alone. Leave, yeah. the, leave the fitness industry alone. Because you guys are not entitled to an opinion. And, you know, but unfortunately, the market has changed over the years with the internet. Yeah. 
and the internet has shortened everybody's well, a lot of good span. of course not just not access to information to, yeah. unparalleled developments in society yep. all that other stuff i but, mean even in our even in the right. fitness space no, I mean, it's absolutely done, done right. a lot of good but it's come with a price yeah it's, it's made it hard if if uh you have to be good at sifting through information and and finding reliable sources and actual right. authorities and and that can be tricky if the more information is available the better you have to be at sifting through it. Yep. Yes. Because the good stuff is not always the shiniest or the most no. attractive. That's absolutely true. And, and this is where the marketers come in. So right. our space is dominated by marketers first right. and foremost. Right. Uh, and that's not going to change. I mean, that's been the case. Uh, I don't think it's changing anytime soon. No, it's, it's just because it's been the case forever. I mean, it's since, been the case since for advertising, sure. since Claude Hopkins back in the early 1900s. In, in, when when advertising really started to become a, a science and they really started to figure out how to persuade people and how to sell people right that's the way it's been and, and probably i mean we, we'd probably be complaining about the same things and regardless of the industry we were in it's it's probably very similar right if it's if it's a direct consumer no the the you're absolutely right the the marketing aspect of any commercial endeavor probably is the source for most of the problems associated with that endeavor because of of the need to find customers. Yeah, and to just and, lie to do it. I mean, that's what it boils they, down to. It, and I like, you know, some some professions are more, are, are worse about that than others. Like, you know, if, if I want somebody to lie to me, I'll go buy a car. Yeah. Right, just, or some supplements, or or, 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 <laughs> or, 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 or beauty products. Yeah. Those are yeah. that's the most amazing bunch. And and, people. and they'll so say anything. They're, what, and they're, they won't say anything. There are there are margins. Oh in that my business. god! Yes, eighty dollar bottle of cologne yep. or something like that yep. costs about what eighty three cents. Probably, maybe. yeah, something like that. Like landed, oh, done. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Sitting yeah. on the shelf. So, eighty three thousand percent markup. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's good business. So anyway, well, uh, how's business? Uh, business is good. Um, I mean, the focus um, mostly from for me personally, it's the books, right? Uh, and and just because I mean, it's work that I enjoy. Out of all mm-hmm. the random shit I have to do, it's probably the work I enjoy the most, actually. Um, and then and then, but really, from as far as business goes, it's 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 supplements, right? Uh, and but I'm not like everybody else, uh, actually. <laughs> well, that's why I'm sitting here. Well, I, no, I don't think you are, <laughs> Mike. That's why we're. That's why. That's why you're here today. I could have asked all kinds of people of to course. come on the, on the, the podcast with us, but I've known you for quite a while. And I know you to be a honest guy. Your your uh, your approach is similar to ours. There are some basic things that work, right? Like your emphasis. In, in terms of your programs, have, has always been aesthetics. Ours has been strength, but we both base the programs on basic barbell exercise, yeah. complicated, full body movements, loaded incrementally. Yeah. As the you just take a different spin on it than I do, but what yeah. we do is basically the the same thing. We're not in disagreement yeah, mine is that on plus basic some anything. bodybuilding stuff. Yeah, and basically. I you know, and I fuck with Mike about him having his shirt on today for some odd reason and stuff. <laughs> That'd be some I fuck with him about yeah. going up a weight class, and we, you know, I fuck with him a lot about stuff. But and you've heard it on our on our interview audio interviews, but uh, we're basically doing the same thing here. He's just doing it at at. 12% body fat, and we're doing it at what, 30, 35% body fat. Are you calling me fat 12%, Mark? 12% is, is 12, 12%. He's taking offense. I would have, I would have, He's taking offense at 12%. I'm not going to eat for five days. bulimia. He's going to go. He's got to get down. Take some more fat burners. <laughs> He thought I was 12%. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what does that mean? Who am I? You failed. Who am I? What am I doing? Oh, shit. Uh, but, yeah, no, things are things are moving along well. Um, so 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 Legion is the sub company. That's, that's the primary business. And right. so we got uh, kicked in the nuts. Uh, what's that? Your oh, website? Yeah, Le- L-E-G-I-O-N, legionathletics.com. Legionathletics.com. Yeah, if you want to check us out. But 
we got kicked in the dick by Amazon. The hardest. So, the, what they do to you? They're um, difficult to deal with. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you just to preface this, if you don't have at least one catastrophe per year with Amazon, you're either not doing any <laughs> sales on Amazon, or you're like Jeff Bezos's cousin or something. <laughs> nobody, nobody's gonna you've mess been, with you. You've been uh, petted on the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a made, a made person. Yeah. Let's be, uh, let's be gender inclusive there. Right. Um. So. Yes. <laughs> so. So um, my my number one best selling product on Amazon was my pre workout called Pulse, right? And it was number the number one pre workout on Amazon, right? And so it's moving along, doing very well, and then it just goes down, right? Just just gets turned off, right? And this shit happens, right? So uh, it goes. They turned the page off. It just you, you can't buy it anymore. It's just it just gone, right? Are and you so that, serious? Absolutely. So I mean, it was uh, I don't I don't know the exact numbers, but I would say it was probably cruising along at about ten thousand dollars a week in revenue and sales, and then it's just to zero. Uh, and it took three to four weeks to even find out like why, what was going on, and, and um, what what did they do to? So yeah, so it, it gets better because there were some misunderstandings in the warehouse and what exactly they should be doing, and so they they accidentally destroyed three hundred and fifty thousand dollars my cost of stuff and then and of then, your product yes and then said oh well you know we're not gonna reimburse you for that so 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 it's fine I'm working with we'll, we'll, we'll get money back we will but you just have to go through a process right they've never talked us around like that that sounds amazing I well see what, well, I'm not what even, really happened did you so ever figure out what you, you don't ever really know what happened right. and uh, you know one I've dealt with this kind of thing this is this is one of the worst I've had some other bad similar things where products just go down and it takes anywhere from four to six weeks to get them back and um, so you know it's 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 annoying, but I've gone through it before, so I'm kind of like blasé about it. But uh, just for example, here's something, here's a problem that Amazon has. So there's a lot of money to be made on Amazon, as a lot of people know. And so that means that it's really a battleground as far as the sellers go. So what you'll have is you'll have people out there that don't give a shit, like that we were talking about, that use hair to bump up the protein content of their dog food, right? right These kinds right, of people. Right. And so what they'll do is they'll get friends to buy your product. And then um, they'll wait a week, two weeks, or whatever, leave a review so it's a verified purchase, and they'll leave like a really alarming review. Like, uh, you know, I had to go to the hospital. I was puking, right. I was puking blood. I have no idea what was going <laughs> <Okay>. on. <laughs> and then they report those reviews to Amazon, and that can get your that can get your product taken down just like that. Wow. And and Amazon, unfortunately, uh, because it's very much a bureaucracy at this point, it's you know four hundred thousand employees or whatever. They just kind of shoot first and ask questions later. That's kind right. of their. And so uh, that's probably what happened here. It was, it was we related po- probably to some review of somebody. Uh, you know, it can even be beta alanine tingles. We've had we've had pulse that product taken down simply because people complained about beta alanine tingles. So it's just uh, that's right. you know that's just part of the game. Um, but you know that aside, uh, things have still actually like we're that that hit us. We're probably like 800k behind are pacing because of that because you God, lose man. you lose that is just, a, that is amazing because you lose momentum you have to build back sure. you know what God, i mean so just, so know. but it's just like that you can just get smacked um right but despite that i mean uh the business is, is still doing well we still have a very good year um but that's uh you know that, that that's that's fun and then there are these google updates i don't know if you guys have uh, felt the effects of them at all what's the they've rolled out um they've rolled out a few updates uh, they started about a year ago and they particularly went after the health and fitness space and um, they made this clear they openly said this and they're really big on now pushing uh, th- uh, th- uh credibility authority and trust right is really and so i mean there are websites that were getting um hundreds of thousands of visits a month that literally got deleted off the internet basically I mean, like losing ninety-five percent of their traffic of their search engine traffic, just oh my gone, God. just gone. Well, for right. example, who? Um, I know. I don't want to say. I know of one. He's a friend of mine. I'm not like. Right. I don't know if he'd want me to say. Well, um, what was he? What was he doing? Uh, it was. It was. It was good information. Um, um, information. If I say too much, it'll be. It'll be clear. Right. It was in the fitness space. Right. But very high quality information. Right. A lot of it. Um, I mean. Probably over forty thousand studies referenced on the website, and not well, just referenced, but like this was real work. This dude right. built this from nothing. Well, what do you think happened to it? 
it's, why did they it's do this? weird like i've seen a big hit in traffic not not that big and it hasn't made that big of a difference because it, it was mostly a hit to my blog traffic which didn't make me that much money anyway and right. ironically when the blog so legion's blog had had peaked at about maybe 1.8 million visits a month uh, before the first update rolled out. Um, ironically, a lot of that traffic was AMP. And AMP, if people are not familiar, it's like a, it's a Google thing where you have a very stripped down website, has very little functionality, but it loads like instantaneously, right? It's meant for news websites, really. And so somebody who worked with me previously doesn't work with me anymore, wanted to do that. I thought that'd be a good idea because Google gives preferential treatment to AMP content. If you load instantly, they go, we'll give you a bump in the search engine rankings. But the dude didn't make sure that we have a good working AMP website. So the, right. that traffic was literally worthless. Like the bounce rate was like 95%, oh, nobody God. bought anything. So we're getting all this blog traffic, it looks cool, but then it turns out like 70% of it is AMP. Oh, okay. So, so we get rid of the AMP, uh, turn it off, that naturally is gonna, it, traffic's gonna decline, Google rolls out updates, and so now Legion's blog is cruising at like 900K a month. But you know, that's, it's not a straight, right. it's not a straight how, having, but it was a big hit. So well, it didn't gut you, but yeah, it, did, it, didn't, it, it, didn't, it wasn't me. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And we don't know right. what comes next. They've done three updates now. And so it's, it's caused a lot of problems in, in the health space in particular. Right. Like, you know, there, there are some big, uh, big websites out there that, that, you know, went from getting like millions and millions, 10 plus million visits a month to, you know, like three. And, oh God. Which dude. is, I know three is a lot, but it's, it's, and, and, and I have a friend in the, in the digital marketing space who has probably one of the most informative websites you could imagine. The dude probably has close to 4,000 long form articles on his website. He has a brand, even he's getting hit. Like, I don't know what Google's doing. The only known winners that my team, as we've looked into it, that we found in our space is Healthline, who bought Authority Nutrition, if people remember that website, um, and very well fit. Like, those two guys are doing great. The Google's right. giving them everything. I wonder, would you think that Google's got an ownership stake no, in either one of those? I don't could, think it's that. Couldn't be anything that obvious i don't know i don't think no i don't actually don't think it's that i think it's like i I don't know exactly i mean i get the if the idea is to force because you have a lot of bad information we're just talking about this in our space so if you're google and you're like what can we do about this how can we help weed the weed out the bad how can we separate the the good and the bad how can we assist in this it seems like the idea is Okay, well let's let's really start diving into these websites. Who's writing the content? What are their credentials? Do they right. have anybody reviewing and fact checking? Uh, how believable is this information? And I, and of course, it's not a bad idea, but the implementation well, it is a bad idea though. I, because, I don't because who gets to determine that's the problem the veracity that's the problem of the applicability. It sounds of nice. It's one of those things. Sure. It's like it's like it's like the idea that the enlightenment ideals of we're all equal. It all sounds nice, right. but it doesn't fucking right. work. And right. so 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 no, far, it doesn't. It doesn't fucking work. I mean, for for example, in our business, exercise physiologists, PhD exercise physiologists, would seem to be the authorities. Yeah. Like Google would see that and be like, yeah. "Oh, that's the guy. Yeah. He's look. There's a terminal degree in Credible, this basically stamp, approved. immediate credibility, yeah. and nothing could be further from the truth." I know it's unfortunate. You know, it is unfortunate that they don't understand anything beyond that. Yep. This is and the, how is an algorithm this is a credential worship, scientism, yep. this sort of thing. Yep. You know, and how is an algorithm supposed to overcome that? I mean, I, yeah. it can't <laughs> exactly. All no it can way. do is create problems. No way. That needs, that's up to the market. That's up to the people. You know what I mean? That's yes. up to the, the functioning of just, just the free market people principles. absorbing the information, making decisions. Yep. Propagating the good. With where and, to spend their money, yep. which means it's not bullshit. And what them. to talk about. Right. I mean, as you know, every business, uh, the, the number one goal is to generate word of mouth, right? And and you, you can obviously stimulate growth through spending money in advertising. But sure. if a business is really going to make well, it long depending term. On the, depending on the service product you're 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 uh, you're trying to sell for example the i don't think the gym business uh has ever really made any money off of advertising i don't know i, I you don't mean to think. bring in people yes you, I, what about something like planet fitness i don't think planet fitness derives much of that traffic from anything except word of mouth mm. their friends joined planet fitness yep. it was ten dollars right. yep it was ten bucks so yep. they went 
and joined one day. They hadn't been back in three years, but yep. they're still paying ten bucks because you know they might want to. I might want to go back. Yeah, and it's only ten bucks. Yeah, so. But that's also it's word the, of mouth. I don't think the fear that, of losing something. You feel like you have something right? with your I got $10 this month. cheap deal, you yeah. know. And uh, and Planet Fitness, in, in, in that respect, is a oh, what a brilliant idea. Yeah. I mean, they. I was have, skeptical when uh, I first heard about it. I was like, I don't know the whole yeah, it's, positioning, it's, it's the so, pizza it, day it, and shit. I was yeah, like, this it's seems so, so superficially. It almost stupid, seems like it's pandering. You know? Like, wouldn't, it wouldn't people feel almost offended? By, but I guess not. It appeals to the demographic that will pay you $10 a month, put it on their credit card, let you auto-draft it, yeah. and never go in the building. Yeah. It's That's See, designed. If they, yeah, if they that's knew designed, that, those guys, they are, knew those that. people are brilliant. Then. These people are brilliant. Yeah. They knew if that. they knew, like, there are a bunch of these that. people that there are There are a bunch of this. people that will so, buy a membership. Yeah. And keep paying for it if it's cheap enough. Yeah. And never Imagine if that's your plan. You're like, we want people who don't work out, but will just pay us. We Mike, don't want them using the facility. Mike, I know that's what happened. It's, it's, I know for a fact that's what happened. We, a friend of mine back in 89. Like everyone was, that shows up is that you're like, oh, come on. Was running <laughs> a, he was running a promotion and he proved that this would work in clubs all over the country. He would go in to the market and he'd hang around for a couple of weeks and kind of assess the 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 way the city moved and stuff and then he would put out a lead box. You know what a lead box is it's where you sign up for a free vacation. Put your name in the, it won't work now obviously but this is but what he was doing was he was putting a lead box in a restaurant or a donut shop or a uh, you know, a place where people went, nightclubs yeah. and yeah. wherever they'd let him put the, and so he would have a little list of little, you'd, you'd fill out the name because yeah. you're going to win a free vacation, you know, free vacation for two to the Bahamas. Just let us, let us have your name and telephone number. So we, he would go around, he'd put these lead boxes out, he'd check them every week, pull the leads out and he would place these, these boxes in, in locations where he knew that the people that went there to shop we're not in the fitness demographic, but they're in the free shit demographic. <laughs> so he would bring them home, and after the first week, Monday morning, he'd start calling all these numbers. Yeah. And he'd say, you didn't win the vacation, but you want a free two-week membership to Wichita Falls Athletic Club. And all you've got to do to claim your free membership we're not going to charge your card. Is, is, yeah. oh, there's, no, there's no cards involved in it. All you got to do to claim your free membership is to, is to come in and bring the enrollment fee in of $92. And these people would show up and they'd pay $92. For their free. For their free membership. They'd work out once and leave. And you'd run that promotion for two months, and it would generate the club $75,000. This is, you know, 30 years ago. Imagine that's right? how you made your money, though. <laughs> yeah, he, he made a lot of money doing this. He, but, we'd uh, split it with the club. He'd split it with the club, and he made a hell of a bunch of money doing it. Planet Fitness is exactly the same <laughs> thing. They they have figured out a That's way. It's like to, on par in my mind with just like just usury. That's how you make your yeah. money. Like ah, I just loan. I give needy people money and I charge them thirty percent. Nah, thirty percent. That's, that's nah, how, they're yeah. only going to have the loan for three weeks anyway. Yeah. They can afford it. That exactly. kind of shit. Yeah. But this is exactly what they did, and and it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. The people that are buying the little shitty ten dollar a month membership get out of it exactly what they want. Yeah. The the Ability to say I'm a member of a gym, yeah, and you to know? feel like and, that first step has been taken. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I can go back if I want to. Yeah, you know, and they keep paying them. It's just God, it's brilliant. It's chicken shit, but it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, you have to admit there's a certain amount of yeah, yeah, genius. I mean, that's that. that's that's more above board than what the other guy was doing. Oh, slightly. Uh, yeah, I mean, slightly. I mean, <laughs> Ninety two dollars for it's your like, free. Is, yeah, that's where the you're, disconnect. You're free, <laughs> that's where, but, but it was it was free. <laughs> and I had, uh, you know, uh, honest to God, we had uh, eight or ten of those members that yeah. used the club yeah. for two years. That actually came in and used the club. Yeah, and that when the thing was over, signed up at the gym. 
Yeah. But that wasn't the purpose of the deal. Yeah. The purpose of the deal, the deal was to harvest membership money from people who will not go. Mm. And really, if you think about it, at 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 any uh, at any corporate fitness facility in the in the country, that's you know a large part of their membership. Oh, of course, absolutely. You Man, know, if they all went to the gym, they it'd be a, it'd be a problem. You, I don't know. You if they, couldn't fit them in the gym and the parking lot. Well, then how much would they have to store. charge to you know if they had if they had a high attendance rate, they'd have to charge so much money just to keep or no one would you know it'd be a problem. Right. People would show up and but, it'd be so full they'd just be like I'm they cancel they just go somewhere else. Well, you know there was a time when. Oh, industry wide, the uh, the actual usage rate of a gym membership, a health club membership, was something on the order of fifteen percent. Mm. Wow. That's all the, you know of the membership. Fifteen yeah, yeah, percent yeah. would use it on a regular basis, yeah. and by regular basis, I mean twice a week. Yeah, a couple times a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very low percentage, and that's the industry standard. And it may be a little higher than that now, but it's still the case. Yeah, you know, if you're a member of Golds, you probably don't go that much. Hmm. but you're still paying them. Yeah. But you go occasionally. Yeah. And it's to you, it's worth it. And that's fine. That's the market. Yeah. It's fine. Sure. Of course. Fine. I just, Planet Fitness does a fine job of that. It's just, they're not in the same business we are. Right. They're in the sales business. We're in the fitness business. Right. You're getting into the supplement business. Well, we may be. Yeah. We may be. Yeah. We may very well be uh, rolling out a couple of products here pretty soon. And uh, we're going to talk to Mike a little bit more about that because he he knows more about it than we do. And uh, he's graciously agreed to help us with that. Uh, So uh, what else you want to talk about? You want to give everybody a breakdown on your approach to to the problem of what to do in the gym or Sure. Yeah. I mean, Let's go like, ahead. like like you said, it's it's pretty similar, right? So it really is. Uh, you know, in the so I have a I have a book for men, bigger, leaner, stronger. I have a book for women, thinner, leaner, stronger. And that came about because a lot of women were reading the men's book and saying like, "Hey, this seems pretty applicable to me, but I don't really want to be bigger." Yeah, the bigger thing was yeah, a problem not, for them. Sure. Not 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 really what I want. And also. Um, there's, there's a fair amount of upper body training and, you know, I'm more concerned with my lower body. Right. right. So, so eventually it made sense to take the men's book and just customize it to, sure. to women as much as possible. Sure. There's Some a, of it is there's just, a small subset of the women's market that wants to get bigger. Yeah, there is. A and so, some women intentionally now still read that book cause they, that they want to, you know, get as jacked. They as know they they're, can. they know they're, they're skinny. Even those that don't want to be jacked, that yeah. are that are rail thin. That's true. And are, actually, with are, the title, I was kind of... Those look better with a little bit more muscle mass. Absolutely. Yeah. The title, I was thinking, like, fitter, leaner, stronger might be a better, in terms of really the, the, the better statement of the benefits, because there are mm-hmm. many women out there who don't want to be thinner. Like, they want to be right. fitter is maybe how they might think about it. But I didn't like how that sounded in there. Well, I, I think that... It, it doesn't comport well with the previous title. Yes, exactly. And it just doesn't right. come, it just doesn't, uh, thinner, leaner, stronger, just, it just sounds better than yes. fitter. No, leaner, for so. that market, I absolutely, it would certainly appeal to most of them. Yeah, and there and the and, and I was also thinking with many of the women I had heard from over the years were mostly, uh, they wanted to start with losing some, losing some weight. And, yes, and, and, and so that's almost I mean. a universal yeah. aspect of the women's fitness industry. Yeah, and not not because they were had body dysmorphia or something, but you know, if a woman's at thirty percent body fat, she might look at twenty percent body fat and be like, "Oh, that'd be nice." Yeah. And so you know, it's nothing unhealthy about that. Right. Um. So so that's the women's book, and um the 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 fundamentals in terms of the diet side of things are are very similar. Like you know, I don't need to explain energy balance to a man differently than a woman, right? right. Calories in, calories out. Why does Physiology is physiology. It is what it is, right? Yes. Um, but uh, there were quite a few things that where I was able to really separate it out. Like if we were talking about you know common myths and mistakes, well, those are quite different actually. Like a lot of women are concerned, at least that that come come uh, my way, are concerned initially with getting bul- bulky, bulky, right? Bulky, big, bulky, bunch up. What do they what do they call it? Bunchy. I think it's just bulky. That's just bulk, the word. Like bulk. They don't want I to keep be hearing words like bulk, and uh, I hear bunchy muscles, which doesn't mean 
bunch of stuff. You never heard that? I, I haven't heard Bunchy. Yeah, I've heard long, long, long. Well, I went that's to sculpt. Like a ball, like a you know, a ballerina. That's the key. Long lean muscles. Yeah. They sculpt. Yeah. Sculpt. Sculpt. Long yeah. lean toned muscle. Toned. It's not muscles. It's muscle. Yeah. Lean muscle. Lean that's muscle. The, that's the key. Long <laughs> lean the fat muscle. Yeah. muscle. <laughs> Fuck the fat muscle. Long lean. Gotta be muscle. lean muscle. Uh, and, and so, so anyway, um, it goes over on the, on the dietary side of things. Again, the practical approach is very similar. Of course, it's just what it boils down to is that women generally are going to be eating less food. They're be eating fewer calories than men because they just burn fewer calories, right. smaller bodies. Right. Um, and, and how those calories break down in terms of protein and carbohydrate and fat it doesn't really have to change. It kind of, uh, the standard approach that I recommend just proportion down yep, is a, is like a, you could start with that, uh, you know, 40, 40, 20 type approach where about 40% of your calories are coming from protein, 40% from carbohydrate, 20% from fat. Um, or you could s express it in different terms, protein somewhere between, I don't know, 0 0.8 to one gram per pound per day um, and somewhere around 0 0.3 grams of fat per day. You can go higher if you want, but that's probably enough for health and then fill in the rest of your calories with carbs, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and of course you are you are taking your, your energy out and you are uh, calibrating your energy in accordingly. If you wanna get skinnier, if you wanna get leaner, if you wanna lose fat, you're gonna have to have an energy deficit there, right? So you're gonna have to eat fewer calories than you burn over time. Um, and, and these are boring things to you and maybe to people listening. But if you remember, I remember when you first learned about this, it was like your mind was blown. I remember, I mean, it maybe I just remember because you hear all these weird things, you know, right now it's the keto diet or yeah, that, you know. that this food makes you fat. No, it's this food makes you fat and this food makes you lean. And, you know, you have to do a bunch of cardio. You hear all these things. And so when somebody comes along and says like, not really, just here, here are your calories. Um, you know, set them up like this. I want you to break these calories down into protein, carbs, and fats. I do want you to eat nutritious foods because I do want you to take care of your body. It doesn't matter for your body composition. Let's make that clear. Right. But let's think a little bit further uh, than just body composition. So how about this? Get like the majority of your calories, 80% of your calories from nutritious foods. And if you want to take the remaining and eat whatever you want, then do that. And that gives you right. some, some, you know, flexibility and well, this is this is precisely equivalent to our approach for strength training. Right. We you squat, you bench, you press, you deadlift, you do some power cleans, power snatches, uh, chin ups. Right. That's all you need to do. But the key is, amazingly enough, you just add a little bit of weight every time you train. Add a little bit of weight every time you train. If you do it three days a week, then you're going to get stronger. And it's astonishingly simple yep it's astonishingly simple and it works every single time it's tried yep. but it's it's unimpressive it's not sexy to people it doesn't have who, the marketing who spin. like complexity yes that's true right and that's a marketing tactic is i mean complexity yes. sells if, if you yes. are if you are a good salesperson you know how to use it Yes. Like muscle confusion, these kinds of things, right? These things they they right. sell. I mean, maybe not that. So at this point, I think most people know that's bullshit. But there was a time when, uh, or, or and then and then you take that and it, it gets it gets spun into the next turbulence training or you know whatever. <laughs> uh, and and that, Is that training on an airplane. <laughs> only when there's turbulence. That's the key. A smooth yeah. airplane ride is yeah. just no fun. Yeah, that that it's what simple. happens not, you see during, complex, during not turbulence is your testosterone levels rock by like ten thousand uh, percent. Yeah, don't look into it, but uh, that's what happens. Anabolic window. Yes, um, yeah, it's the anabolic window <laughs> is that turbulence period. So, uh, so so yeah, you know, funny. So a buddy of mine, um, he was in the gym with me, and actually met him in the gym, right? And so he was a bit overweight, and he had tried a bunch of weird diets to lose weight. And he was asking me, uh, you know, hey, he's like, you're the fittest guy I know. What, what should I do? Just tell me what I should do, right? He's like, should I do a low carb diet? Should I do keto? What should I do? Uh, paleo? And uh, his name's Josh. I was like, Josh, I want you to eat 2,000 calories a day, and I want you to get 150 grams of protein. I don't care what you eat. It's, yeah, it would be good for you to eat like a vegetable or two, but right. for now, just just do that. Go, right. go on a calorie counting website, and I want you to just 2,000 calories. That's it. That's what you get. I do not. I don't care how often you eat. Let's immediately induce yes. calorie deficit. deficit exactly yes. right. And right. Uh, and so he was a little bit puzzled. He's a, he's a smart guy, um, so you know, but he's still a little bit puzzled. He was like, well, what about 
carbs. And I don't. I don't care. You, <laughs> eat what what you want. I don't care. And yeah. This is not the 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 the, the long term end all be all. But let's start. We're let not going to do this. For the I just want to. Yes, I just want to show you how simple this really is. Right. Right. Um, and he's like, so sugar, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't care, but I don't recommend eating 150 grams of sugar a day. Cause you're probably gonna feel too good, but you know, so maybe right. eat, you know, semi sensibly, like how you'd want your kid to eat or something and 2000 calories, that's it. Okay. Uh, and so he does it and you know, within uh, five weeks he's down 15 pounds. Right. And he's like, you know, he's telling, he's like, this is ironic because, um, he, he was he was quoting Carl Jung, uh, and he was saying, <laughs> "Yeah, he, he's a neat guy. He's, he, he he can't help himself. He like right. he went so he went to school and he studied. He had a master's in history. He studied history and philosophy just for fun because that's what he's into. And now he's a financial advisor. He knew he wasn't going to use it for anything. Right. He just did it for fun, right? But he was like, you know, this, this is actually a funny concept. He was like, there's a thing that that Jung said that basically like the 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 truth the, the what you need the most what you want the most is in the place where you least want to look right and he's like yeah. this is that version uh, this is that this I never wanted to like yeah I told myself I would never count calories I would never pay attention to that I would always try to find some other way and then you tell me two thousand calories a day and now I've lost fifteen pounds and then eventually that turned into thirty pounds and that was the end of his weight problem <laughs> right and now he knows what to do yep and now he knows he's, what to do he's, he's reset his habits and yep. And, and if he wants right. to, if he wants to, you know, uh, you know, whatever, if he's on vacation, if he wants to gain a bit of weight or it doesn't matter now, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't have to fret about it because he knows right. that, cool, he'll just get back onto his exercise routine and he'll eat 2000 calories a day. And it'll go away. And it'll go away. It'll go away. Yeah. Right. So there's a, there's a, tr a training equivalent of that too. And that's, that's very much the approach in, in my books. Again, it's very similar to what you teach. In fact, your book, Starting Strength, was the first real sensible training program that I ever did. Before that, I was doing bodybuilding stuff out of magazines, right. you know, two and a half hour workouts. So was I. Uh, and I, and I, did, and I <laughs> couldn't, I hadn't deadlifted, you know. I hadn't done in seven years, I had never done a single set of uh, deadlifts, not one. And I, and I maybe had done a free squat. I had squatted on a, on a Smith right. machine, of course, because that was safer, you oh, know. Oh, God. And, Mike, we uh, all started <laughs> off this stupid time. <laughs> You and know, but I did. I done a lot of a lot of chest flies. Of I, I had some pecs though, so yeah, and a little bit of biceps too. Well, you know, it's interesting that we're we're talking about these misconceptions that we've all had to deal with. The most pervasive problem in terms of body composition that I see uh, throughout. Oh, and this is not this is not particularly a problem within the industry because I think we all know better than this. But uh, popular culture clings to the idea that you can exercise off the fat. Yeah. And th there's just not any way to break in to this idea. Yep. I don't even like the you, how it's framed. I don't like framing it that way at it, all. I mean, it's I, I talk absolutely about that in, untrue. Yeah, it's, I talk about that in the books. You know, that, sure, you can support your fat loss yes. with exercise. You burn energy, sure, but you you go in the gym to build muscle. To you gain you muscle can and get support, strong, and the big muscles burn the fat. But you don't. The exercise itself doesn't burn enough calories yep. to affect your body composition. Yep. There is no body fat loss yep. without a calorie deficit. Yep. There isn't one. Yep. But most people, if you ask them down deep in their little hearts. What's the one thing that you need you to gotta do? you got to run off the yep. weight, you yep. know? you yep. got to run off the weight. Yep. And people still... I mean, you can look at it this way, right? So you can lose fat or weight, however you want to look at it, without exercising, just by manipulating your calories, but you can't gain muscle and strength without exercising. Right, right. <laughs> so, and so, how many fat guys do you know that run at the YMCA at yeah. noon every day? Yeah. You know, yep. and and you know that's okay. There's does it health, work or not? There's no. health benefits to it. Sure. I'd rather, I'd rather I mean, have them doing run, that than sitting on the couch. If you want to run? Go ahead and run. Yep. But let's not labor under the delusion that you get abs from running. Yep. In the absence of a of a calorie deficit, you're going to have a belly. Yep. Which is hard to do if you're not really paying attention to what you're eating. And it's, it's also hard to, do. hard to do if you don't care. <laughs> well, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I'm 63, and I just don't I don't care. All the YouTube guys that are right now. Rip them off. Rip them off. Where are the ass? Pile of shit. Look at him sitting there. He looks like a homeless guy with a. Dressed, <laughs> dressed like he works at Walmart. Well, we're, Walmart, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, hold on. He... Wait. <laughs> Everybody see this? 
free starting strength <laughs> he t-shirt. St- he stole that from a homeless guy. A free starting strength In t-shirt. In front of Walmart. The first one that tells me what this is. Ooh. All right, y'all keep track of that, okay? So what else are we going to talk about? We can't talk about politics here because that's not – that's too dangerous. Mike and I are in agreement about – virtually everything and you won't like it <laughs> so we're we're gonna leave, I have kids we're that, gonna that, leave it alone that need you don't be, that, I have, that a, don't I have need an expensive death i have an expensive wife i i, yeah, I can't you, afford don't need death threats i can't afford i've always wanted a death threat. i've mentioned this in one of the earlier podcasts you haven't gotten a death threat? no really? god damn it i've been asking for a death one threat. word away Mark. It's one word asking away. for a death threat please <laughs> threaten my life what are, what are the, that's, that's when you know you've made it one of the, the, the what he said he's going to poison me with meat no, no, or something. He just said you better delete this video if you know what's good for you or something like that. That's, oh, that's, really? Yeah, that's a threat. I, nobody that's told a threat. me that. Yeah. How come you kept that from me? I just saw it. Like, <laughs> you'd better delete the veg. we better delete the veg in video like that, if we knew what was good for us. Like yeah, and it's still up. Yeah. And we're still here. We're still here. I guess all life Building's is still in place. place. All life isn't sacred to those people, I guess. No, but. Well, remember, They're humans all, are a virus. So Humans are a virus on yeah. the face of the planet. Remember and vegans are all estradiol poisoned, <laughs> estrogen laced. You know, I, I creatures I, with I no hair. I haven't, I haven't and, clashed with, uh, with, with vegans, vegans, you know, tomato, I'm not tomato. Call them anything uh, but vegan. Because uh, I mean, I, I wrote one article on on just vegan bodybuilding, but but didn't wasn't wasn't trying to make anybody wrong for anything. I was actually talking about like, okay, if you for whatever reason, if you want to if you want to eat like this, here's a way to make it work, right? And you know, right. you have some issues. It's, it can be difficult to get enough protein. Real difficult. Um, yeah. And you got you you, you probably want to take a couple supplements as well um, to make sure that you don't. Develop, I said B twelve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but you know, oh, calcium good. can can be a bit difficult as yeah. well, and irons and a few things, zinc. Um, but but you know it was well received just because right. like I was I was I was being objective and just laying out there are some downsides to this, right? right? Well, I'm not you were from a moral. I'm just saying physiologically. Right. Come on, let's just uh, look uh, at this. Of course, and you were not intentionally being a horse's ass. Yeah, like I was. Right, and am. <laughs> Right. <laughs> because it amuses me. Zenith sanguine. Zenith sanguine. sanguine. So, so that, that means like the, the, the highest, I don't know, but it's, it's, the he's highest, trying to say like the highest blood. The like highest he, is, he, is, he is nobility. Okay. He looks like a vampire. Okay. Oh, good. Joke. My video is a joke. Remove it already for your own sake. Ooh. That's a for my own sake is a Ooh. threat. Right. Zenith. Thirty-one eighteen view cannon. <laughs> I think it would be Sam Seven, Queen. Seven six three zero eight. You know where I am, boy. <laughs> He's gonna show up at <laughs> night. <laughs> at night. <laughs> He's gonna show up, and that'd be the wrong time to show up here. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, that's Probably, the uh, wrong time to show up here, and I'll show you why here when we get through. Okay, good. <laughs> so, anything else What's, interesting we can talk about? We talk every time we talk. We have fake, long, fake, interesting fake conversations. Fake naturals are always amusing. Maybe that's more in my in my world, though. So many of these people that fake, anybody who oh. has lifetime natural in their IG bio is full of shit. Is on enough drugs to like kill a rhino. That's, yeah, typically that's the, that's the starting. Typically, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially so if they claim to be a vegan. Yeah. They claim to be a vegan yeah, and they're and you, huge and yeah, and you're, you're, you're 6'1", 236 percent year round. Okay, right, but, and you're a vegan. Yeah, right, or not, you're, right, regardless. and you're and you're clean. I wrote about right. this recently, a yeah. long autistic article breakdown of FFMI um, and and its correlation with steroid use, and um, and it didn't actually. A couple people tried to nitpick a couple things, but right. you know, we're basically what what the the. I'd say the data the data shows, and and there are a lot of other people out there, smart people who would agree with me, um, which oh, building up my authority here. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have consensus. No, but it's uh, around twenty five. Like there's an FFM normalized FFMI around twenty five is maybe achievable naturally. Very small number of people have the genetics to do that. 
Um, no, start, I've seen guys that do, but they're, that's not normal for a, definitely for a not human. Normal. Now, remember, it also can be difficult, though, to determine a true normalized FFMI if the body fat level is too high. So, like, in guys, when it gets above 20%, it, can, it, it's, it, it, gets, it gets bumped up because of the – there's a, additional – non lean mass tissue that will accumulate that will register as it's not fat mass per se, but it's additional connective tissue that also shrinks as you get leaner. Yes. And so skin thickness. Yeah. Even, you even know, it matters. I, that is a, that's a big deal. Yep. That's a big deal. There's so much skin. And yep. if it's thick, yep. it's heavy. Yep. Um, it takes up a lot of space. And so anyway, it's just though, you know, it's, it's just funny when you have these guys, you have guys on Instagram with, with, you know, FFMIs of ridiculous 28, like, to put it in perspective. I mean, I, I just look small because of the shirt I'm wearing, but that's, go to my and Instagram. And that's the only reason. Yes. The only reason. I, I'm actually huge. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm six, one, one ninety five. That's just, that's just where I'm at. Right. I'm I, my, I think I, I have small bones though. Like my wrist, I was never Tiny. meant to be a big guy. Did my, you do ballet at one time? I could have, uh, some people, you know, when I, when I, was when I got lean for the first time, people were like, I remember one person was like, you have like a, a nice swimmer's body. And that's when I knew I had to get bigger. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, oh God damn. I was like, the game and he didn't weight. even mean it. That wasn't like a, that wasn't a left-handed, that was, they actually were trying to give me a compliment. Oh, you know what I mean? Trying their best. Yeah. But anyway, so my, my, uh, if you go to my Instagram and, and, and see me with some muscle mass and my, my normalized FMI is like 23 in the low 23. So put it in perspective, 20, imagine my height, fucking 28. I muscles bulging out of my clothing oh my god oh natural though natural oh yeah. natty okay yeah yeah natty yeah 220 220 shredded year-round lifetime lifetime drug free so I just should, for, should for, for me and nick and everybody else that doesn't know what ffmi is oh right tell us. Yeah, yeah well i do but Sure, sure. For, yeah, I, I just don't worry. No, no, I, I should have thought of this. And, and so so just for anybody listening that doesn't know that it is, so it's fat-free mass index. Right. So it's just a relationship between your height and, and muscularity. You can right. think about that way, and your weight, really. Right. But but it, it it takes into account, though, uh, your body fat level as well. So uh, you are looking at that relationship between how tall right. you are and how big you are, right. basically. And, and there's uh, been quite a bit of research on this over the years, over the decades now. And essentially what um, seems to be true is 25 or so is about is about what you can expect that's that's top tier genetics though muscle that's really like elite mm -hmm. well maybe not okay not top tier but that is it, that is elite muscle building genetics if you can get into the 25s and be like relatively lean as well mm -hmm. you are jacked and if people are curious what theirs is they can just google ffmi calculator i mean i have one on my website but Pull up an FFMI calculator, put in your numbers, numbers, and you'll see what you'll see what I mean. Right. Um, you know. Uh, um, so, so like my normalized FFMI is in the in the twenty threes, mm -hmm. uh, low twenty threes, and um, you know I'm about as big as I, genetically speaking, according to different models, maybe I could gain another eight pounds of muscle or so, five mm -hmm. to eight, and it would take years, probably three years, to do it. Um, at the body, at the body fat level, you are. Now. Yes, yes, but right. but but you know, um, there are a few different models, but those models usually are assuming stage weight, so they're usually assuming like shredded. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. okay, how how big can it's you be just... at like six percent body fat? Okay, and then kind right. of extrapolating from there. And there's also, um, you know, Kate, I know, you've probably come across Casey Butts's work on uh, on. How, how big can you get based on your uh, your bone size? How much bone you have in your in your right, body? I don't. I don't. You know might find that, that interesting. I, I, it with that. might be interesting. I just don't know that anybody derives any benefit from looking at that because th there just aren't any big bodybuilders that aren't on a bunch of drugs. Oh yeah, for and sure. that's just all. The, I'm sorry. See, that's but just I, the way it is. That's why I yeah. like though. I mean. I, I think that, again, there are, I wrote about this, there are like, you know, four different models that are generally used. Um, Butts's is one of them. Alan Aragon put out a model, Mark and Bert, Martin Burkhan, Lyle McDonald put out a model. And if you look at those, though, I, I've found that those actually, I think, give people better expectations. And, and I talk about this in an article that I wrote on how much muscle can you build naturally, right? And it kind of goes into this. Actually, I think those give better expectations than just cruising around on Instagram where you don't know. There are too many right. guys on too many drugs. And some of them are obvious. Some of them are so big. Like, right. yeah, when a dude's shoulder is bigger than his head, he's on all a of the drugs. Of drugs. All it, of you them. know, and and I don't, I don't, we don't talk about drugs on this podcast very much but uh 
And, and one of the reasons we don't talk about drugs on this podcast very much is because I just don't really care about it. Yeah. I don't care about it. It's just a fact of life. You know, I, I'm not, I don't advocate it, but it's none of my business. Yeah. And nothing I'm going to say I agree. is going to change a goddamn thing about what anybody's going to do. Yep. People are going to take drugs. Get over it. Yep. And quit worrying about it. I and agree. Quit, quit trying to involve other like. people in that decision. It's their decision. Yeah. Just shut up, sit down, don't care about it. The only thing I don't like, though, is, and I, and, I, and I hear from these people firsthand, I have for some time, is when people don't understand uh, how to spot drug use and they don't right. understand how big of a difference drug use makes. And yeah. so then. That's why they're illegal. Uh, well. In, in all sports federations, that's why they're illegal. And yeah. that's also one of the bizarre things that's come out of this women. This trans women thing in women's sports recently is. Do you think this the, is going to uh, really continue? Do you think? Because then uh, I guess I, I, you know, it's it it can't much longer. Former men then are just going to dominate it can't every female much longer. sport. I mean, it, it's going to be actually a joke. It it is. It's already a joke. Well, I know, but it's, it's going to be just. When do we? It's going to be laughing? peak clown world when yes. female sports are now just. Dudes who uh, either now identify as women or, or, or went through some surgery or hormones or whatever, but when you women, know, it, then it, what does that say to little girls? Like, why even bother? Why bother? What when is, you're never going to be, you're, you're half never as going good. to win. Never, ever, never, ever going to win. Never. And you know this, it, it, but part of the fallout from this is that some idiots are actually running around saying that testosterone does not enhance. Yes. And. and it, this is with respect to women taking testosterone. Yep. That it doesn't enhance athletic ability. Mm, okay. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, you guys go ahead and pretend. <laughs> now, I will say that some aspects of athletic ability are not affected by testosterone in adult women. Yeah. It does not affect vertical jump. It doesn't expect. It doesn't affect explosiveness. Right. It doesn't affect athleticism, agility, that yeah. sort of thing. But it does You're affect strength. You're not going to have a better golf swing or something. But it does of... affect strength in that you will have a better golf swing because you're stronger. Right. But I'm saying not because you're better. Techni- there yeah, aren't any yeah. technique steroids. Yeah. There are no technique steroids. And there are no explosion steroids. Stre- anytime you hear the word steroid, just substitute strength for it because that's exactly what's being referred to. And muscle gain, of course. Muscle mass, yep. strength. Yep. That's all it's about. But to say that testosterone does not contribute to muscle mass and strength is the same exact sa- thing as saying that the sun this morning, just this morning, came up in the West. <laughs> it did. It did. I saw it. Because I, I say it did. <laughs> and I, I've seen this in print. I've actually seen this in print. It's so distressing that people are willing to be so silly in order to jump on this bandwagon. It's, yeah. just, it's just very, very weird. And uh, well, it's just I wish they weren't that way, but me, they me are. Too, and, and people are getting tired of it. Yeah. Uh, the parents of female athletes are getting tired of it. Yeah, the husbands sure. Are, Husbands and wives and boyfriends. Imagine it's your female. daughter and she's devastated, you know. And she plays third time. in the in the state track meet and yep. doesn't get her scholarship yep. now. And she never you will know? do better because No, because now she's gonna be older. Yep. And she's peaked out. Yep. And this was her opportunity to go to college free. Yep. What do you, so 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 what do you think about the equal pay uh, scandal, the oh, soccer God. scandal? This is so stupid. It's just, you know, why do you think? Well, to begin with, uh, men's and women's soccer are compensated. We should go back for it. I'll be the SJW. Well, I, I, <laughs> one thing I saw a little meme yesterday. All soccer really is women's soccer. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw. I saw a meme. That, <laughs> their compensated. Their compensation structures are are set up completely differently. They're as a percentage of revenue, women are already making what is it twice yep. as much yeah. as men it's like 4% are in terms two. of. But but no, these people want to pretend like there are as many people interested in watching women's soccer as there are men's soccer. Yep, and that's not 
True. And that's it's not true. That's a lie. It's reflected in revenue. It's so, reflected in revenue. So, so when the men's World Cup generates four billion in revenue, and the women's over a four-year cycle does what was one hundred and seventy million, give or take. Yes, something to that effect. It's what else not, is there to say? I don't know. What else there is to say? And I don't know how you what does people it mean if someone can be can't this understand dense. that though. I I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. You just don't understand arithmetic. We're, we're just talking. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah. This is like a, a balance sheet. You know what I mean? You yeah, have some I, money that comes in, you know? and, and then you got to pay your your bills. And then you have some money left over. Right. The men make nine percent of revenue. The women make thirteen. Okay. So they do get paid. More. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. They, they get paid more. The money. They just don't yeah. draw enough attention because yeah. nobody wants to watch them play soccer. Now, why is that? Is that because because it's because the, of the patriarchy? That's why. That's why. Yeah, yes. it's the patriarchy. <laughs> you know. You know. It, I was at it, the. I was it, at the. Uh, speaking of the patriarchy, I was at. I was at the country club golfing uh, uh, yes. the other weekend. Well, isn't that? Uh, isn't that <laughs> <fantastic>. luxurious? <laughs> <laughs> with with uh, with Jeeves there to, Jeeves, to assist me with your uh, with your clubs. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so the dudes next to me were talking about this, right? So uh, older guys, you know, just don't give a shit. And they're talking about this. They're like, oh, no, I'll never fucking. And they're like, I'll watch that shit if they're naked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's part of the problem yeah. is, is people. Yeah, you know, this is but, this is an issue to about 80 people. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, no, this, but, the girls on the team and their and their girlfriends is is. <laughs> That's who this is an issue to. <laughs> Nobody else is puzzled by this. Yeah. All right. What are the people? What do the girls women's... in the WNBA get paid relative to the NBA? And why? Do you really need us to explain this to you? Right. I I don't. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by doing so. You ought to be smart enough to know what the deal is. And I, you know, is this? Look, if you really want to pursue this line of questioning. Then we got to stop playing sports. Hmm. Now, don't well, that we. would be the fairest. Now, don't thing. we? That, that would be fair. Yes. Nobody can win. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because when somebody wins, somebody has somebody to lose. has to lose. And, that's and in any sport, that's not fair. Yes. It's just not fair that somebody loses. Yes. So your you people enlightenment. You know your your analysis doesn't go anywhere that you want it to be. You know, you you've you've got to back this off. And grow the fuck up. And and you got to look at it. Okay, you want um, female soccer players to get paid more, then you got to make it a better business. So how are you going to make it a better business? That's the real. It's not just trying yeah. to. In, you, in a you're se- going to have demand to more out money from the, what, right you, from what can't be paid. Yes, there there isn't any more money because nobody watches your sport. Now, how do you make them want to watch your sport? Yeah, I don't think you're going to like the answer to that. I really don't think you'll like the answer to that. Women beach volleyball figured it out, but you guys don't want to do that, do you? Uh, you're you're not you're not going to be able to force people to spend money to watch you do something that they don't want to watch you do. I'm sorry, and, you don't and get why? to tell it's people not, what to watch. It's not misogyny. That's not why. It's not misogyny. It's the nature of sports competition. Exactly. It's you want to see super freaks doing super you, things. You want and to see athleticism it's not that the women displayed. aren't skilled, not at all. But it has take take the women's soccer it. team; they got beat by a bunch of fifteen-year-old boys. So yeah, that tells and, you, the, you know, the and that, we talked about that in an earlier podcast. There are several instances of that all over yeah. the world. And that's not a knock against women; it just is what it what's is. What's interesting I mean. is their coach. Their coaches knew that it'd be good for them to play the boys. Mm. Like, because they knew they'd get beat yeah, yeah, yeah. and learn something yeah, give them from some, it. Some perspective. So, in other words, you already know this. You already know this. But it's 2019, and it's so fucking satisfying <laughs> to be I mad. Think, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so goddamn satisfying to be offended by other people. Maybe it's just, you know, is it satisfying it, just to feel something maybe in today's just, 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 just a, any kind of emotion is yeah, good. And, something and other anger than ju- will do fine, yeah, right? Yeah. Just to, anything other than to just get, like a, to a, get you a off of your telephone, vegetable, right? Yeah. And then get, get you away from Netflix or right. social media or porn right. for 
Well, I guess you go for, to social media to do this. So it's to get you off Netflix and off the porn for long enough to get mad about to something. To get mad about something. And to this feel is, relevant. This is good enough, and it makes you feel better. And to signal to everyone and, in your immediate uh, oh. vicinity that you too are virtuous. And Jesus. So that's a little insight into Mike and Rip's politics. Was that, here, so. <laughs> was that enough to get death threats, though? Well, we'll uh, maybe. see. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Death threats are cool. Yeah. I, <laughs> they're all going to be, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to beat off. YouTube doesn't care. To the video. I'm going to kill you first, and then beat off to the video. That's the YouTube comments. <laughs> on. Or some comment. Well, <laughs> we'll see what they say. That ought to. You guys, the, what's the name? Let's see the comments. What's that? Wouldn't be necrophilia, right? Because yeah. no is it necro if it's just if, if they, you're just jerking if, off? If to... the cum lands on me when I'm dead, <laughs> but is yeah, that, I think if, it's no, a, if there's no penetration, I think is that's it a, necrophilia? I th- I'm real I'm sure up, it is. I'm, up I'm real sure it is. It probably is set up, sexual if, satisfaction. Look, if, ne- if necrophilia requires penetration. We need, I we need don't know. That's, that's, that's a pretty not weak. Not age. Age. <laughs> You're not a necrophilia. <laughs> sexual? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> sexual intercourse. Oh, it, it stipulates uh, penetration. Or attraction toward. Oh, or attraction toward. Okay. See, I knew it was broader right. than that. Dictionaries, I knew it was broader dictionaries than that. are racist so anyway. I don't care. <laughs> so, boys. I don't believe in dictionaries. You I, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you got to kill me first, though, or you don't get to be a necrophiliac. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck we're gonna get in trouble mike we better oh, wrap this views. up man thanks for visiting yeah, thanks what's, for what's your me. website uh, let's Le- post this on the legion so. legion athletics is the hub so right um L-E-G-I everything goes through there yeah i i had another website muscle for life that was a glorified blog it was popular right. but it didn't serve much of a strategic purpose so i merged it into legion basically. legionathletics.com is where you'll find mike uh get his books uh and uh, buy supplements, and uh, uh, you will be better for it. I promise you. Mike's a good guy, and he knows what he's talking about. If that's the end of this deal you're attracted to, then go there and patronize him. And uh, uh, when we get into the supplement business, we're just going to we'll murder him. <laughs> we'll gut him. We'll gut him. Just be, come, be hey, prepared to be gutted, come, Mike. Come at me, bro, as <laughs> the kids say. <laughs> come at me, bro. That's a death threat. <laughs> That's a microaggression, Mike actually. Yeah. Okay, thank you people for joining us on the podcast this time. We'll see you next time. Thanks to Mike. You guys be good.